Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a Q&A. I asked some questions on my community tab on YouTube and then on Instagram in my stories. And I am going to respond to some of your questions. So this is something I've never done here on YouTube before and I thought it'd be kind of fun to share a little bit more about myself and some people just had some random questions as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, okay, the first question, do you and your husband plan on having more kids? Well, we are pregnant with our second, if you didn't know that, and yes, we do plan on having more, um, as far as we can tell, as far as God's plan is, and I don't know how many that is, I think we've talked about three or four, so, or five, my husband's in the background too, so maybe six or seven. <laughs> Is the home you live in your forever home? No, it's probably not. We live in about a thousand square foot house and it's two bedrooms. So we have our master, which is the same size as our guest bed, which is Nevaeh's room. So our two kids will be sharing a room. Our basement's unfinished. Um, it's a one bathroom. So probably not our forever home. We would eventually like to build our house and pay cash for that in the future as well. Uh, do we have any debt? We have to say credit card, student loan, or mortgage. We have a mortgage still on our house. Um, we paid off our student debt that we had in nine months, right after we were married. Um, we had 25000 in student loans, and we got that paid off in a pretty quick nine months, I would say. Do you plan on going back to teaching once your child is a, is of school age. I don't know where I plan on being once that happens. I don't know if I see myself doing that um, at this point. I am gonna teach, um, keep on keeping up my teaching certificate in South Dakota. You have to renew every five years. So I'm going to make sure I have enough credits to keep that up. But I don't know. I don't feel like God's calling me back to teaching at this point. Do you plan on investing in more real estate? <laughs> Probably not <laughs> at this time. Do you live close to your family or your husband's family? So my family is about two hours away, so it depends on your perspective. That's not super close. Um, and Blaze's family lives about 45 minutes away, but honestly, we don't see them that often, especially during this time of the pandemic. We really don't see them very often. So um, when they're 45 minutes away and we live in a small town, it just we kind of stick around here quite a bit. We're kind of homebodies, I'd say, for the most part. What are the benefits of having a backyard garden for veggies? Yes, I've had a few garden questions. So I love growing my own produce. It is a lot of work instead of just going to the grocery store and buying it, but it's fun to see the process and reap the benefits and being able to can or freeze and store up that own. So I think there's a big, big benefit too because then you can put on whatever chemicals or nutrients or organic products on it that you want to do. It's depending on how you are with gardening, what your thoughts are on using chemicals or organic. But it's fun just to see that and have it grow in your backyard. Go pick the fresh vegetables. And truly, it is a lot cheaper than going to buy um, a ton of whatever you want to buy to can from the grocery store. So I really like having a backyard garden. And someone then asked uh, for newbie gardeners advice where to even start. So I'd say <laughs> start, definitely start. Um, if you have a small space, I would start in pots. Like if you're in an apartment, um, good things to start with is, that you have in a pot, I feel like Cucumbers grow pretty well, squashes, but those are super viney. So um, tomatoes would probably be a good place to start. And I would say this is probably a big tip. Don't start from seed with like the tomatoes and cucumbers. I always just buy from the greenhouse, like the little shoots that are already up if I don't have time to grow them from seed because then it comes up quicker. And I think that's a good way to go if you are wanting a fast product. Now, if you're gonna plant 100 uh, tomatoes, I don't know if I would buy the little packs of four because that would get rather expensive. 
but I would just recommend starting if you have a little garden plot. I think greens grow really well in the cooler months like lettuce and spinach. Potatoes, uh, just throw them in the ground. <laughs> they seem to grow really well. Um, what else grows well for me? Yeah, the squashes, as long as you don't get squash bugs, are pretty hardy. Corn, if you have an area to grow corn, that really works well for me. Um, I just definitely recommend starting any. I think carrots grow well for me. Those root vegetables really seem to work quite well in my space. But yeah, initially just buy those shoots and start. Do you intend on paying off your house earlier? We'd like to be done earlier than our I think 15 year mortgage that we have. That would be nice. How do you manage to live within your budget? We do use um, a budget online or spreadsheet. It's online. Um, we kind of have been off of that for several months lately, but that really helps just to know where every penny is going to have categories for everything, for entertainment, for food, for um, just regular expenses like gas. It just really helps you know where every penny is going and in the end you realize oh you might have extra left so then you can tuck that away for um, your mortgage or for your child's college fund or whatever you want to do with it. But I think that helps to actually have a budget and live within our means. And part of that is we live very frugally by buying like thrifted items. None of our furniture in here is new. We finally for the first time bought a brand new washer and dryer because mine died about a month ago and we've never bought anything new for ourselves so it was kind of a treat to buy that but we had the means we paid cash for it i mean really it's just um yeah making sure you have the money if you're gonna buy something do you have any saving tips well i kind of mentioned those just now um yeah just don't bend right away when you get it. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I've never really struggled with saving before because that's kind of how I was raised, but you could do, I know Dave Ramsey for kids often tells do the envelope system. So for like, have envelope for saving, envelope for giving, envelope for spending, whatever that may be, like your clothing, your gas. It gets to be a lot of envelopes and cash, but um, if that helps you, then do that. I also just don't buy a lot of stuff. Like our coffee budget for the month is $20 and we don't live near a coffee shop. Well, well, 12 minutes away, but honestly we never hit that $20. And so to me, I just say, make it at home. I like my own homemade coffee anyways from the French press. Uh, buying thrifted clothes, like I said, secondhand is just, you can often buy better quality anyways second hand if you know what you're looking for and so that's a big saving tip for me um shop grocery sales the exterior of the grocery store just when certain produce are on sale at certain times of year just watch those things that will help you save money um we don't buy a lot of processed foods either so really we are shopping a lot of the exterior which i think helps save in the wrong long run but yeah i I love sharing these tips with you so if you do have more questions about that feel free to put that in the comments because I think finances are a really big thing in a life in someone's life and they're really important and if you're struggling in that area um, I do recommend looking into Dave Ramsey he really has helped us through this process we weren't like huge spenders and in debt before we took the class but it was really helpful just to see um, what he had to say about it okay hopefully that kind of answered it let's see I have a couple more questions here oh and they've already been kind of answered do you plan on having more kids and how many kids yeah like I did answer those so um those are just some of the questions that I had and I enjoyed doing this to sharing my thoughts on myself or family uh, if you have more questions i'd love to do a second q a it's kind of fun to do this that way you get to know me a little more um on here on youtube and you can feel free to ask those maybe i'll put on another one in like six months or something and that will be after the second baby comes <laughs> 
But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it kind of fun and informative. And I will be talking with you in my next video on Friday.